Hey everyone, welcome back. If you're not part of the channel, be sure to subscribe, like this video, share this video. We love having you. If you have any dreams, rapture dreams, visions, send it to in the description in the box. We have the email there, the Telegram channel is all in the description. Send it to us. Anything military, because there's a lot of military stuff's going on right now. Close to your house, you see jets, planes, helicopters, get a picture of them. Anything that's strange in the sky, I don't care what it is. Let us know. Send us the pics in. If you have any visions, dreams, any one of your friends have visions of dreams, anything like that, send it to the description. This come in from Sonia. It says, good morning, Chris. This morning I saw something. First of all, I saw the Golden Gate Bridge, the Red Bridge. Most of it was gone. The only part of, the, uh, part of it that was left was just a small piece. After this, I saw something. I made it simple. Uh, Something I make it simple. There was a lot of people gathering in a basement. There was a huge, there was huge uh, advertising posters everywhere, in and outside. Didn't know where I was. I just sit in the corner somewhere in a long chair. Looks like a church house chair. Once uh, there was a gentleman, he came down and sat next to me. A little later. When I looked back at him, he had a pure white face and a black tear running from his face. He had huge hands and a really uh, long black nails. He grabbed my thigh so tight he was a gentleman when he started talking to me at first. I couldn't move at all. He was really strong. I noticed it was a demon, one of the fallen angels. I started calling, Christ, 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 really loud uh, while I was staring at his face. All of a sudden, the demon... Uh, started melting and disappeared. I got up right away. I wished to see the rapture and the tribulation dream before, but I saw something different this morning. I think I was in a place where a lot of people was gathering, gathering to worship Satan and the Antichrist in my dream. What it sounds like you was having was a post-trib. And that's uh, a lot of people, they think we're in the tribulation now. They don't have no utter clue what tribulation is. The Lord told us in Revelation, tribulation is like no other time in the history of this planet. And think about that. He destroyed the planet one time with water up into the skies. And this is going to be worse than then. Because you're going to burn. The half the world's going to be on fire. If you escape the nuclear weapons from the first strike that's coming very soon, any day. If you survive that, no food. No water, no electricity, no septic. All that stuff's going. Oh, and the people think their bunkers are going to save them? Nope, that ain't going to help you either. Because there's going to be a comet that falls out of the sky, and it's going to move the ground. I mean, I'm talking like a major movement. Bunkers will fall in on themselves. There will be nowhere to hide. There will be nowhere to run. If you think we're in a tribulation now, you've got something coming to you because... You ain't seen tribulation. The pit of hell is going to be opened up. An angel is going to open up the pit of hell. There's going to be creatures that come out that you thought was only in your nightmares. They're going to sting you for five months straight, 24 hours a day. You're going to be stung by these things. You can't get away. You can't die. There's no dying. You think tribulation's now? If you don't know Jesus, you better get to know him quick because he's coming. He's at the door. That's why I'm here. He told me to get on here and tell you. These other people tell you there's a great revival coming. The world's going to sing Kumbaya, and we're going to dance in little outfits, and we're going to be holding hands. The church is not going to save the world. It's not going to. It's not in the Bible. That's not biblical. That's these big-time preachers out here telling you that everything's going to get better when I'm telling you it is not. Jesus is coming. This world is evil, and it's about to fall in on itself. And that's why Jesus has a lot of people on here on YouTube going and, and begging you people to get on the boat. Now, the rest is up to you. If you're lost, you call up on him right now because you're out of time. You call up on him and you believe that Jesus died on that cross for you. He died. He did all the work. There's nothing you can do to get in heaven. All you got to do is believe in your heart that Jesus died on that cross for you and you will be saved. Okay? And then you're ready to get out of here. Do not listen to these idiots out here telling you that there is no rapture because there is one and it's coming very fast. And you're going to be just like the people that got left outside the boat in Noah's time and they drowned. 
He's got people on here left and right telling you that he's got them coming out of the woodworks. He's telling everybody, I'm coming, I'm coming. All we can do is tell you that I'm telling you, the world as you know it is coming to an end. Open your Bible. People that, I mean, just these people in the comments, they just drive me insane. People just don't know their Bible. Literally, they listen to all these idiots and they tell them stuff and they believe it. I mean, it's just, I mean, the God, God said it in the Bible. He said, and you don't have knowledge of me, you're an idiot. And the church, that's the problem that they have. They don't have no knowledge. They don't study. They don't open their Bible. They expect everybody to do everything for them, come wipe their tushies, and do everything. And I'm telling you, if you're lazy, you're going to be left here. Open your Bible. Get to know Jesus. Read it a day. Read it an hour a day, two hours a day. Get into it. Get to know it. If you can spend your time getting on here being a troll, you better be opening your Bible because I'm telling you, you think you know tribulation. You just wait here very, very soon. And I promise you, I promise you, you're going to beg. You're going to plead to be back here at this moment when I'm talking to you and you're going to think about me. And you're going to wish and pray that you had just listened. That's what's going to happen to you. Mark my words. It's coming very soon. If you don't turn around, you're going to burn. Okay? If you survive the first wave. The first wave, once it hits, most people won't make it. That's why I'm on here trying, I'm begging you, pleading you to turn your life around because I'm telling you, most people don't survive the first wave. See, right before the first wave, we're out of here. But as soon as we're gone, the first wave hits. And when that wave hits, that's it. Most people will be dead. You're not going to have the opportunity to repent and turn away because you're going to be gone. See, right now, everybody's going about their business. They're paying their bills, watching their sports. They don't realize that the world is about to end. It's, I mean, we're that close. It's about to end. While, and while they're asleep, the world is going to end. They're going to wake up to a fire that they can't put out. Because I'm telling you, people are asleep. The church is asleep. They don't see him coming. It's exactly the same way it was the first time. Be aware. Jesus is coming. I'm begging you. I'm pleading you. You're out of time. Get ready. If you don't see me again, I'll see you in heaven.